Hello, my name is Brian Casey. I'm editor-in-chief of AntMini.com, and we are here at the RSNA 2014 meeting. We have with us right now Dr. Rich Duzak. He is chief medical officer at the Harvey Neiman Health Policy Institute and also vice chair of radiology at Emory University. Dr. Duzak, thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Brian. It's my pleasure. So uh, what sort of trends are you seeing here at RSNA, and how do they reflect uh, tra changes that are going on in radiology as a whole? Well, it's always a little tough to, uh, given one snapshot, uh, what trends are going on at RSNA. Uh, there's just so many things going on at um, every meeting. But I think one of the things that's going on at this meeting, uh, like the last couple years worth of meetings, um, has really been a change in focus um, from technology um, to the patient and um, to uh, delivery systems. A uh, lot of attention, a lot of interest in um, uh, informatics, um, integration, patient centricity, uh, appropriateness, um, things that we really didn't spend a whole lot of time at this meeting I'm um, talking about in years past. Mm -hmm. What are the, the, some of the things that you find most interesting? It seems like reimbursement has always been a big concern in radiology and, and kind of from my perspective it seems like some of the pressure that we've seen on reimbursement from at least from, from Medicare has eased a little bit over the last year. Uh, yeah, I think that's all uh, relative, um, and, and I, I guess uh, the pressure may have eased because we got hit so hard the last few years in uh, medical imaging. I think uh, you know, medical imaging wound up uh, being uh, probably really at the, uh, the bleeding edge, if you will, of a lot of bundled initiatives, a lot of cost-cutting initiatives uh, from Medicare, uh, from uh, CPT, from a variety of other stakeholders uh, that over the last few years in total have resulted in some pretty dramatic uh, reductions on both the technical and professional side um, for the specialty. Uh, I think that's stepped back a little bit as um, those policymakers have now focused on some other uh, specialties. At some point, there's going to be diminishing returns um, for that. Um, so um, the pressures are still there. They're um, very real. Um, I think the pressures on us from a point of view of the short-term um, cost-cutting measures have slowed down. And I think some of our challenges um, now are to uh, not uh, step back and uh, breathe a sigh, but to uh, use a little bit of that reprieve uh, to start looking at the future. And so what, what sort of things do you think radiologists need to do? Well, there's um, things that we need to be doing um, clinically, and I think there's things that we need to be doing on the um, reimbursement front. Um, from a clinical perspective, we need to um, uh, be at the forefront of changing our practice. Uh, the technological evolution of the specialty over the last um, couple decades has just been absolutely amazing. Um, digital imaging, teleradiology, all those types of things have been absolutely terrific for us um, as a specialty, but they've also left us very vulnerable um, to um, uh, commoditization um, towards being perceived as um, cost centers um, rather than real contributors um, to patient care. And so I think a lot of the, the what needs to be done on the delivery side are really a lot of the initiatives of the Imaging 3.0 um, uh, initiative, which is really to focus on, on, on patients um, to um, make sure that our technological integration is as meaningful as possible. Um, from a po uh, perspective of the payment side of things, which is where I spend a lot of my time, uh, we need to be really uh, looking for um, creating um, good payment models for radiology that will um, help ensure our um, sustainability um, for the next couple decades and that's a lot of our work um, that we're presenting here at this meeting from the Harvey Neiman Health Policy Institute looking at utilization trends looking at um, uh, new uh, payment modeling uh, approaches that hopefully will leave us prepared uh, to do well in the next couple decades. Do you think radiologists are getting the message that they need to change that they need to be more uh, more visible or is there still some resistance out there? Uh, I, I think the answer is a little bit of both. I think there's some uh, real champions of uh, the change um, initiative. Um, there's some just amazing uh, champions of um, imaging 3.0 uh, that I'm interacting with these, uh, at this meeting, and it's just so refreshing to see these people um, saying, hey, we tried this thing that we, you, we read about from your site, um, and that's great. Um, but your point about the resistance is very, very real, and that's uh, one of the biggest challenges for the specialty uh, moving forward. Um, a lot of those people in sort of the second piece of their uh, uh, their breath is saying, um, but um, I've got partners who want to continue to sort of do things um, the old way. Um, and I think whether we wind up ultimately succeeding um, or failing as a specialty, um, and failure may be a little bit too strong a word, but succeed less, is really going to uh, depend upon whether we can change the culture um, overall. Um, cultural transformation, it's a slow process, um, and so I'm uh, cautiously optimistic we're going to get there. Uh, but there is a lot of resistance um, to, to changing the current workflow of radiology, just as there's change for any of us changing our work. Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you for being with us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Signing off for AntMini.com, my name is Brian Casey.